Drop shotting is when a player immediately changes their stance to lying down flat when they engage in a gunfight. It's a somewhat controversial technique because it makes players harder to hit and is seen by some as unfair. And you might be thinking, well since any player can do it, what makes it unfair? After all, changing your stance to make yourself harder to hit is a legitimate strategy. You're not going to stand still in a gunfight. But in reality, drop shotting exploits the way multiplayer games work to cause no regs. And this no reg or no register happens when you shoot someone on your screen, but they don't take any damage. Most modern multiplayer games, especially FPSs, use a client server topology, where each player is a client and they are all connected to a central dedicated server. Players communicate between each other via this server, and it is on the server where the true game is actually taking place. Whether someone takes damage or dies is always decided by the server and then relayed back to clients or players connected. So in an FPS, when you shoot someone, you're actually just telling the server that you're aiming here and shooting, and the server will decide whether that shot hits. Are you sure about that? All this communication is done via packets of data. When a packet is sent from the server to players, it's often called a snapshot and it contains the game state, or in other words, what a player sees on their screen at any given moment. These snapshots are sent at a fixed frequency from the server to all the clients and contain all the information your game needs to render a particular frame. Alternatively, a packet sent from the player to the server is called a command and it contains the intentions of the player, jumping, shooting, teabagging, whatever. This is essentially a request for the server to update the game state and relay the action to all other players in the game. But as fast as these packets are, they still take time to travel between you and the server, and we refer to this travel time as latency, which we measure in milliseconds. For example, in this diagram you can see from these arrows that it takes 50 milliseconds for my command to reach the server, and another 50 milliseconds for the snapshot containing the latest game state to reach me. That's a ping of 100 milliseconds, which means it will take one tenth of a second for my game to know whether the bullet I just shot actually hit someone. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, and in some games it's not, but imagine if every time you fired a bullet, your game froze for a tenth of a second and waited for a response from the server. A fast paced multiplayer game would be utterly unplayable, so instead what we do in this situation is something called client side simulation. When you press an input in the game, like moving or shooting, the response happens immediately for you and your game client simulates what it thinks will be the response from the server. In the case of a gunshot, the bullet will fire off and hit the point where you are aiming on your screen. And if the prediction is correct, once the message comes back from the server, everything's good and no one's the wiser. But if we mispredict, or in this case simulate the bullet hitting an enemy when on the server it misses, what we see is the animation of our bullets hitting the enemy, but them taking no damage. Because remember, things like damage and whether a player is killed are always determined by the server. The result is a no reg, and possibly a bit of gamer rage. So why is this important for dropshotting? Because the most common cause of a no reg is when the server position of the player you're shooting at is different to their position on your client. Since it takes time for the server to send you the new position of a player, and for you to inform the server that you're shooting at them, the position of the player on your screen is always slightly out of date compared to their true position on the server. Now modern FPSs have ways of accounting for this difference to make sure it doesn't feel like you're constantly shooting at a player's after image even though in reality you actually are. And it's a crafty technique called snapshot buffering that involves the server keeping a record of all the most recent snapshots it has sent to the client. Also known as server rewinding, this technique allows the server to simulate what the client saw when it sent its command. For example, if the client is aiming at a fast moving target and shoots its shot on frame 69, the packet from our client will take some time to reach the server. Once the packet finally reaches us on the server, we're at frame 420 and that fast moving target has long gone. So what we do is rewind the state on our server to the snapshot that was last sent to our client around frame 69, and by interpolating between that snapshot and the next one, we can reconstruct what the player saw on their screen and confirm whether the shot hit. And through this technological wizardry, we have obtained good hit detection in our game and one happy player until people start drop shotting. You see, the snapshot that the server sends periodically to players contains all the information in the game, but the snapshot buffer that we store on the server for hit detection only contains the positions of players. 
And when you only save player positions, you're not saving a whole bunch of other things, including player animation states. And when you drop to prone, it's not your position that's changing, it's your animation state. So when the server rewinds to the snapshot the player saw when firing their gun to calculate hit detection, it rewinds every player's position to the past, but uses the animation states of the present. Not only does this tear a hole in the fabric of space and time, it also pisses a lot of people off. Because gamers being the crafty gremlins they are figured this out and used it to cause no regs. In this diagram representing a gunfight, client 1 sends a command to shoot, while client 2 sends a command to go prone. Then, when the messages reach the server 50 milliseconds later, it rewinds back to point 50 on the diagram to calculate hit detection using the snapshot buffer it stored at the time. But, as I mentioned, that stored snapshot only contains the past positions of the players, not their past animation state. So when we go to calculate whether those shots hit, we use the animation states at point 100 on the diagram where client 2 is now prone. Consequently, the server decides that those shots by client 1 missed because it's using client 2's current prone state to simulate the past gunfight. Even though on both the clients and the server, client 2 was standing up at point 50. But it gets even worse because the snapshot containing client 2's prone state takes time to reach client 1, who for this entire time has been diligently shooting a standing up client 2. So we have this 100 millisecond period where client 1 is missing all their shots, not necessarily because they have bad aim, though that is a possibility, but instead because client 2 is for all intents and purposes lying down on the server but standing up on client 1's screen. And the worse that client 1's latency or ping is, the longer it will take for the new snapshot to reach them, the longer the target they're shooting will be standing up on their screen when they're actually prone, the longer the period of missed hits, and the higher the potential of someone's screen getting smashed. So obviously this isn't great, and certainly leads to player frustration. But this kind of bug is incredibly expensive to fix because you need to store more data and process more data on every single bullet fired. Technologically the fix is quite simple and just involves storing the animation state in the snapshot buffer alongside player positions. But AAA studios aren't going to waste their money on something as pointless as improving their games. So for a long time we've been stuck with this exploit. Still, developers can reduce drop shotting in other ways, for example by preventing the player from aiming during the change to prone, or at least reducing the gun's accuracy. And while this doesn't fix the exploit, it does help reduce its effectiveness. Either way, next time you get drop shotted, just remember you have my blessing to blame your death on the netcode rather than your skill.